Welcome back to another video guys, today I'm going to be going over 5 dividend stocks under $20 with high yield. I hope I can earn your guys subscription today, but let's get right into the video. First off, we have Medical Properties Trust or ticker symbol MPW. The price is almost $20 at $18.84. The dividend yield is 5.73. The payout ratio is a little high, but that is made up elsewhere. It's at 115.63%. The dividend frequency is quarterly, and the stock performance is up by 60% for the past five years. That's why I included this one, because although the payout ratio is high, which could signal a future dividend cuts, we are still seeing amazing growth, and that 60% takes into account that massive drop during the pandemic. And overall, this is a great stock to get at a discount, because pre-pandemic it was around $25. So next we have revenue cash flow and EPS. Revenue is up by 22.3%, cash flow is up by 36.5%, and EPS is up by 24.5% over the past five years. So this is very, very attractive, this is amazing. The company is growing pretty fairly fast because these are amazing numbers for the past five years, and it's got a dividend increase of six years consecutive growth. So even with that payout ratio high, keep in mind we're seeing growth in numbers and growth in stock price. Next, we have a fairly new stock to the stock market. It's a little over a year old. It's Amcor PLC or AMCR ticker symbol. The price is 1087. The dividend yield is 423 percent. Payout ratio is 71. 0.65 dividend frequency is quarterly and the stock performance is down by 0.55 percent since june of 2019 but i mean stock performance we can't really look at that because although this is a little over a year old it's still fairly fairly new so we're not going to be seeing uh much actual uh movement in the stock price because it hasn't had that time to be able to grow and it stayed fairly stable revenue cash flow and eps so the revenue is up by 5.3 percent which is decent to see it going up cash flow is up by almost four percent but eps is down by seven percent so we are seeing some growth but the earnings are going down so i mean it's a little risky since it's a new company but i mean we still have a decent dividend yield with a very low payout ratio but keep in mind most of these 20 dollars and under stocks are pretty risky because stock price can it, not always but most of the time it reflects whether it's a good stock or not that's why we're we see tesla apple amazon all these big companies that are very very good companies at such high prices because most of the time price reflects how good a company is so next we have agnc investment corp or ticker symbol agnc now this stock is one of my favorites i love it i have it in my pro portfolio its price is 14 dollars and 17 cents it's at a discount so most of these are at a discount currently because a lot of them are around the 20 dollar mark before covid so yeah it's just a great opportunity to buy these now and hopefully see that investment pay off once they return to normal prices but anyways the dividend yield is 10.16 percent with an amazing power ratio of 63.49 percent now that is amazing i've never seen this anywhere else it's uh insanely rare to see a dividend yield of 10.16 percent without having a payout ratio around 90 or 400 percent but hold on it gets even better the dividend frequency is monthly which means every month you're going to be getting some of that sweet dividend money and you're going to be able to invest that even faster which is going to allow you to grow your wealth even faster the stock performance is down by almost 30 percent over the past five years but i mean that's mainly because of the covid crash so it's a relatively flat stock you're not really going to see uh, much money gains with the price unlike a lot of these other stocks it's mainly just a flat stock similar to AT&T so the revenue cash flow and EPS revenues up almost 40 percent which is amazing EPS is down however so that's a bummer but we are still seeing more money coming in over the last three years I couldn't find cash flow and I'm sorry about that but yeah uh, dividend increase, zero years of consecutive dividend increase, not too worried about that because it is 10%. I don't expect this company to be growing that number or else that would just be insane. And hopefully they can hold on to that 10%. Next, we have Algo Queen Power and Utilities Corp. Sorry if I said that wrong. Ticker symbol AQN. 
Uh, this is utilities company. The price is around almost fourteen dollars USD or eighteen point thirty one Canadian. Um, that's what Google is showing me Canadian for some reason. Uh, the dividend yield is four point five percent. About the power ratio is about ninety six percent. So attractive dividend yield, but payout ratio could be lower. Honestly, this is. 90% is where you're going to be start to see companies not really increasing their dividend yield, and that's when they start cutting dividend yield. So, dividend frequency is quarterly. Stock performance is up by almost 90% over the past five years, so we have very, very beautiful growth. It hasn't really been affected too much by this pandemic. Um, revenue cash flow EPS, revenue is down 1.4%, not too worrisome. However, cash flow is up by 105.3%, that's beautiful. EPS is up by 204% since last year, that is amazing. That means they're growing, they've got that money coming in. Dividend increase, two years of consecutive dividend growth, not too impressive, but still, we're seeing some dividend growth. Next, we have Armada Hoffler, Armada Hoffler Properties, or ticker symbol AHH. This is real estate once again. Now the price is 1034. However, before the crash, this one was hit really, really hard before the crash. It was at around I think $20. And the dividend yield is 4.26%. Power ratio is a little high at 95%. Dividend frequency is quarterly. Stock performance is up by almost 8% over the past five years. However, as you can see, there was amazing growth before the crash. And the reason 7.48% is because we had that big crash. So we're not gonna be seeing very very attractive growth numbers but it is still positive so revenue cash flow eps revenue is up almost nine percent cash flow is up 32 percent and eps is up 2.1 percent so this is a great company we're seeing growth in the revenue cash flow and earnings so honestly i love this and the price is going up also we have six years of consecutive dividend growth so this is also a very 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 good stock in my opinion um I love this and I'm looking to buy it. Um, this is probably the next stock I'm going to be buying for my portfolio. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I earned your subscription. Um, leave in the comments below what I could improve, what I'm doing wrong. I always like your guys' input. helps me become better as a content creator. So, yeah, have a good day, guys. And remember to keep that diversification in your portfolio. And make sure that you're not investing blindly. Do your own due diligence. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm out.